So yeah, we're going to take a look at the results of Games Plus Jam. Uh, there will be prizes for the overall winner of the jam, which you can kind of see on screen here at the moment, uh, and my personal uh, selection of best winner, and five runners up. So the two winners will each get free copies of my Udemy courses, and the five runner ups will all get a copy a copy of one Udemy course of their choice, of my courses. I can't offer every Udemy course across the universe, but that's okay. <laughs> and they will also get, as well as the winners and the runners-up, they will both get a copy of Stream Brothers, which you can see over there, which is now Stream Buddies, uh, which will be launching next week. Uh, so without any more hassle, let's go ahead and look at the games that were voted by the community. So the community had a bunch of different categories uh, to vote on. There was the overall... Um, rating for each individual game each person gave their own overall rating of the game they rated it on gameplay graphics audio theme and fun and then each io basically compiles all those rankings together and creates their own overall ranking so although there's this overall kind of itch ranking system and it's kind of worked out okay for me um because the, the overall on both of them has been the same the overall winner um, which is this game predetermined. We'll take a, we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, but the I was always going to go by this overall, which is how people individually judge the overall aspect of the game. So that's what this overall category is. So that's what, how we get different, a bunch of different games here. And if we switch over to overall, you can see we get some different ones coming in the list here. Like here. My game timeout is ranked fourth according to itch.io's overall rating, but according to uh, the user submitted overalls, uh, I'm down here somewhere. Fourteenth, which is cool. It's all good. Thumbs up for everybody. Uh, one overall is the average, and the other overall is the overall we chose. Exactly, Zenad. Exactly. Uh, very happy I got third, fourth place in my first game jam. Something exactly DC. So uh, the number one winning entry voted by the community is predetermined by Stephen Miller. This is a really cool game. Uh, if I click over to here to the page, um, where you play as I think it's yeah this darker character here, uh, and as you move around within the world, after a certain amount of steps, which is signified by the little dots at the top of the screen, uh, a copy of yourself will be created, and you have to move around and basically either use that previous version of yourself to push some blocks around or also keep it in mind where it's moving because you have to avoid walking in the same space because if a past version of you and a current version of you can exist in the same space it was a really really cool mechanic um that i really really enjoyed uh so this game was voted number one by the community and to be honest it would have been quite high on my personal list as well uh, obviously it's not going to be included in my list of five runner ups and my own choice because it's been selected already by the community um but it's pretty damn cool pretty damn cool game pretty damn cool i really like it so that was the community vote one and you can take a look at uh which games have been voted in here uh, there's a whole bunch of really cool ones uh if we go yeah we're going to the ranked overall one uh like there's steel devs games time warrior dan's game tempest super jesse's lurkin whole bunch of whole bunch of cool games in here obviously the ones up higher too <laughs> but uh without going too much further uh, let's take a look at the my personal five runners up runners up of the of the jam um starting off with if i get this over to this page over here here we go i have them all open uh so first runner up of my selection osity is wait one second boom there we go uh so the first one up is tempest the last time bender by honest dan it was a really cool game really cool mechanic uh where you can just click on one of the images here uh you play as this little cat and you can control the the world basically going faster or slower by adjusting this bar you can also control like individual objects in the world and platforms and lasers and things like that that are moving around and you can control them to make them go faster or slower and basically you have to platform your way around these levels doing cool things uh 
Although when I played the game, I didn't really get very far in it. Uh, I did. Well, I mean, when I played it on stream, I played it off stream as well and got a bit further. Uh, but it was really cool. It was a really awesome game. Like a really cool in entry, and in the the rank of games, if you go here, Empus. Uh, it was voted by people as the number one game in the or the number one uh, game in the theme of time. So it, it was the game that everyone decided, hey, this is the most appropriate uh, use of time among all these games. So there you go, Honest Dan, runner-up number one. I will say, all these runner-ups, there's no order to them, there's just five runner-ups. Uh, Dan! No worries. You made a cool game, my friend. Uh, a cool game that I really enjoyed. So next up is... You Have No Time by DCBD. Another exciting, exciting game that I really enjoyed. Which is a bit hard to describe it necessarily. There's basically like a bunch of like different scene scenes within the world, and you're running out of you do different mechanics within each world. And you have no time. Uh, where's the description here? It's about wasting time, but wasting in a better way. It shows what happens great when job. we are in a hurry. We got a great job from chocolate, chocolate uh, cake, yeah. Chocolate cake. Yes, let's go with that. Thank you for that follow. Welcome to the stream, my friend. Good to have you here. Uh, but uh, it was a really cool game with a bunch of like different little mini games within it. Uh, and really awesome. Uh, I really enjoyed that one. So, DCB Dell, well done to you. Great jobs indeed. Drop them great jobs in chat. Um, pretty darn cool. Pretty, da pretty darn cool. So, next runner up was Development Build. By the wonderful by gentle cat studio here are in chat super jesse this was a really cool game uh mechanically really 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 interesting but the game page is can i see screenshots better no it doesn't do it what well, does it pops them up better there we go so in development build you can see you got three different graphical styles here and basically each version each graphical style is the progression over time of someone developing their game it's really cool. So within each ver each development style, you have different mechanics that the players use. They jump with different force and they move with different speeds. It's really interesting. Uh, and you can switch as you progress through the little game. You unlock further de development builds, but you can switch back and forward between them to use the different abilities of the different levels of uh, development within the game. It's really cool uh, and pretty damn interesting stuff. And also, it looks really good. Um, I, I really liked how it looked. It was pretty damn cool indeed. Um, although it didn't win number one in the category, it wins runner-up in Games Plus James. <laughs> I also meant to say in You Have No Time, it was number one in the fun category too. So hence another reason people people were enjoying that, that game too. Um, Super Jesse, excellent work. The runner up, number four, again, not in any particular order, is Present Future by Eleven Storms. Zydabs, you wish you could be part of the jam next time, Zydabs, next time. Uh, Present Future is a really, really cool little game. Uh, there's no screenshots necessarily that we can show, is there? No, it's kind of just the title screen. So it's a platformer game where you're, you're switching between past and future worlds. Uh, and in the different worlds, there'll be like different platforms there in different positions and stuff like that. And you switch between them and you have this cool like little dash ability. It really reminds me of um, Celeste that came out recently, uh, which is really cool. Um, but it played very well. It controlled really well. And that was it was one of the most in terms of gameplay. I feel it was one of the most kind of coherent and well put together games. So excellent work by Eleven Storms for that one. And then our final runner up was Incident at Timeco by the extremely awesome Lurkin McClurkin. Uh, extremely, extremely good stuff. Incident at Timeco had, uh, it was really, it was really fun for a start. It had a cool like little story going on in it. But you play, it's kind of a platformy style game, but you play as a character who runs into this time dilemma, <laughs> time accident at his local, uh, at, at the science place that he works. 
Um, and basically, you get the ability to turn into a baby version of yourself or an old man version of yourself. And each different version uh, gives you some different abilities and powers to use to solve puzzles as you go through the game. It was really cool, and I really like the art in it. And I, I like the humor. There was a lot of good writing in the individual characters you run into, uh, which was really cool uh, and really fun. So there you go. This, there you have my personal five runners up of uh, the Games Plus Jam, which will each get a copy of one of my Udemy courses of their choice. Uh, I'll reach out to them uh, in the next day and, and get that sorted out to you all. Uh, Tempest, the last time bender. You have no time. Development build, present future, an incident, a time co. Five fantastic games. Uh, I see Stephen J. Miller, you're here. Hello, how are you getting on? We were just talking about your game predetermined, which won the community vote of the best game uh, in the jam, which means you get a copy of all my Udemy courses uh, for free. Uh, and a copy of Stream Brothers or stream buddies i need to stay stream buddies <laughs> and i'm i haven't gotten used to saying stream buddies yet uh, but our little stream buddies which are these guys over here to run your own streams uh, is given to you and all the runners up and then finally we have my personal choice for my favorite game uh excluding predetermined which was which would have been Either the game I'm picking now or predetermined would have been my own personal choice for best game anyway. So that worked out well, didn't it? <laughs> uh, but my personal choice for best game was Here We Go Again, which was a really, really cool mechanic. Uh, similar in some ways to predetermined, uh, but not so kind of rigidly turn based, uh, and obviously in 3D as well. So basically, the idea of this game is. Uh, if we go to a game page, we might be able to get these images of it better. Um, it's a it's a 3D game, obviously. You play in first person, you run around, and you have to stand on various things like these little buttons here that will do things within the world. But you've got a time limit in which to do things. Uh, the time limit, say, is like 15 to 20 seconds. And after that time limit runs out, the whole world gets reset back to the start. But everything you did a second uh, on your what in the previous 15 or 20 seconds is recorded and your little your previous version will go and do exactly what you did so you'll do stuff like the previous version will go and stand on that button that you stood on for the whole time and then you will go running forward and that button will now be activating the platform so you're able to jump on that platform and go ahead and complete the level and stuff like that and it was a really cool mechanic that i really liked um and it opens up a whole bunch of like potential ideas for how you could implement that into into various games, which I really liked. Um, so, personally, for me, here we go again, was my favorite game uh, of the Games Plus Jam. Submitted by VV512. Uh, I don't think they're in chat at the moment or anything, but it's a fantastic game. And again, they get all my Udemy courses to go and do cool stuff with them in the future. Uh, so yeah, I will just wrap this up by saying, Thank you, everybody who participated in Games Plus Jam. It was all fantastic. Uh, so many cool entries. Although those were my my top five runners up and favorite game and the overall best voted game by the community. Th those are only seven of the almost 80 games that people made. And there were some other fantastic entries. It was actually really hard to only whittle down to five runners up. Um, but I was trying to stick to that. Uh, but yeah, can we get some great jobs? in chat for everyone who made an awesome game of awesomeness you're all amazing you're all amazing and cool and thumbs up tastic uh so that was the first games plus jam uh we don't have any official announcements yet or anything but there will be a second games plus jam coming probably in the summer i would say towards the end of summer uh when everybody ev everybody's off and free to do <laughs> a bit more stuff uh but yeah we will be back with more games plus jam fun in the future.